Cool. Hello everyone. Um, here I kind of wanted to show you guys how to play Trundle. So I believe it is the norms. It's not ranked this time. But um, it is like in that same level. I believe we're playing with um, silver and bronze players. So kind of wanted to show you like some of that gameplay. What it's like to play with Trundle. So I started, um, so what i like to start off with, especially with champions that have like a Q that heals them, kind of like Warwick, Trundle, Nunu, stuff like that. I like to ward the opposite side of their jungle and then use my control ward to prevent any invades so that we can keep an eye on them and then just back to get my sweeper, All right? Just like some normal stuff, um, but yeah. So it does look a little bit faster just because I am putting it two times the speed of uh, just the gameplay because I don't want to show you guys like um, the full length of the game right because I want to speed it up for you and just talk to you about like what to do how the gameplay is um, so here what I do like um, you want to use your F keys definitely check um, your lanes how they're doing I did see that my lane bot was getting shoved so I wanted to come um, and gank for them so I use my tower to kind of slow them and help Silver get that first kill and then... Um, Dream was getting kind of uh, aggro so I definitely wanted to keep him in check. Um, yeah, so if you use your, your E on Trondo you could definitely um, um, get rid of the Scuttle Shield. Just the pillar is just so helpful. Or just slow or getting rid of the shield of the scuttle. Um, so we are playing red side. Here I guess uh, another one. Uh, okay, so here that was good. We used our pillar, we used our W, and we ended up getting the Silas's um, flash. So we definitely want to see if we can come back to this lane later. Because um, he is going to be flashless for a bit. We continued our room. It looks like Nunu's gonna um, gain top, and Vayne was a bit too shoved up, so that's why she kind of died. Um, I could have rotated to help, but um, I wasn't gonna make it on time. Like, Nunu was gonna roll too far, so I mean, she was gonna die, so I just wanted to keep my clear. Um. Zeretz is getting shoved again, so. And Nunu was actually there this time, so I'm just gonna back here. I believe I'm gonna get my Tiamat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and another control ward. Because she did get rid of the. Oh, I still have one there, actually. So I think I was gonna get one for Dragon just in case we needed it. Or to invade. Because uh, what I'd like to do is, like, once I have it there, I also want to invade her. Um, one of her jungle sites so that I could ward it. Just because in the silo, not too many people gank, but um, yeah, the pike wasn't paying attention here. Um, I could have pinged a bit too, but um, yeah, the pike wasn't ready. I think it would have been a great gank if the pike was paying attention. But also, Trundle's really good against tanks, so. Because I saw them choose, um, yeah, Silver here got the kill. Oh, we kind of, <laughs> that was, that was really nice. We ended up, um, evading the ball and then we were able to just get that kill on Nunu. So right now, we only, we don't have any kills, but we have two assists. We're getting over the kills to Silver. So having your ADC kind of get ahead, that's really good, um. Uh, especially if they could keep it up because they're your most your biggest source of damage in your team So like part of this jungling if you can't like get ahead yourself You definitely want to help your teammates get ahead All right, because your teammates are ahead then your team is ahead and if your team is ahead You're more likely to win the game Red team double kill. 
Yeah. Since she has those four kills, now she, she's able to... Uh, she could 2v1 anyone in their team, basically. Um, so here we ended up getting Nunu again. Um, he uses Flash. Um, but yeah, she's 6-1 and one now. Um, so because we left Nunu low, Vayne was able to come and just collapse on her. And then now Vayne got the kill. So Vayne is 2-1 and one now. So I see that Nivea is low, but I kind of prioritize trying to get Rift so we can create some pressure in one of the lanes. Just drop Rift. I believe I also gave it to Vayne. Attack. But yeah, Silver is, like I said, she had the first four kills. Um, so now she's 7 and 1. So Silver is doing really well. I have zero kills, but I have three assists, no deaths. Um, looks like Vayne didn't take it, so I'm going to take it. So I'm just going to continue my clear. Yeah, Silver is just so ahead. Um, that's a big shutdown too. But she's 8-2 and two right now. So I believe I wanted to help my Silas get ahead after. So I think I wanted to clear my reds on my bot side and then rotate over. Shut down. So I uh, used my pillar to slow them down, so we were able to do that. Um, I died, but like I said, uh, we three kills for one is worth. Um, so I died here, but um, yeah. So now the server is nine, nine and two. The pike is three and three. Yeah, and they got dragon for us. So now here we're here in mid. We want to shove. Um, think about what I like about Trondo is that he, look at his damage on towers. I could even Q him. I could Q towers and heal. Um, but see, uh, if I use my W, his speed increases. So he's able to take turrets pretty fast. Like all those new buffs really helped him out. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so right now we're one, one, and five. So we have five. Um, Silver is 10 and two. So now here I got a kill. We ended up killing um I didn't want to fight um the who is that? Um, the Draven, right? Um because he I think he was just gonna kite me. So um, he's as I try to get a closer, he's just gonna hit me from a distance and run away. So I decided not to go for it. But we're ahead right now. We're twelve and twenty. Oh, or about eight. Um, Draven's starting to get a bit dangerous. He's eight and six, but um, he's died so many more times too. A vein now is four and three. Or two and one. So definitely wanted to get this um, this rift and kind of break their base. fight the the Silas we ended up winning that fight um Zera did really good so now we're three and one we could take towers easy they dropped the rift taking our turret um so we take another one 
here, I think I overstayed. So I almost died here. Um, yeah, and Silver got Dragon for us, so that's really good. Yeah, and Silver's just so ahead, ahead now. And I believe here we just try to go for the end. I just focus tower. Yeah, a pillar to slow them down. We were to get a Nivea, and then we just needed to push. But yeah, so this is kind of just like what you want to do with Trondo. Like, help your teammates get ahead. Um, you can't just push lanes. He's a really good split pusher. Um, but yeah, so this is my build. Um, Divine Sunderer. Um, after Divine Sunderer, I like to go Titanic Hydra. After Titanic Hydra, maybe get Thornmail. But yeah, I believe we won this. Uh, it was a pretty fast game. Um, they don't have towers. We took that last push. So we just focused on, I just focused on the Nexus while my team fought. But yeah, that's basically how do you play Trundle in Season 11. Thanks for watching guys. Appreciate the support. Alright. Peace.